obviously it is good to get another win whenever you can. Um, they first came out there and played really hard. I think we're up 23 in the first half, came back and obviously cut the lead a lot. So, um, I mean, any win's a good win, but uh, that one didn't feel really good. Yeah, we got a lot of great shooters, so just keep uh, staying confident, especially in games like this or especially games. I mean, whenever I want, I want my shooters to get them up, get them up because they can't shoot the ball. They've shown they can shoot the ball, and um, I want them to keep complaining with confidence because they can do a lot of big things. But yeah, I mean, we all have faith in him, man. He's, we, we call him he's the best shooter in the country. He's shown it over and over again over at Barry and then, I mean, wherever else he's been, he's one of the best shooters in the country. So just the percentages, I don't even really worry about him because I know he's going to come out there and light it up for us. Yeah, it feels great. Um, I had a good three, four weeks, something like that. So I was trying to show what I got and prove the coach that I should be out there. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, especially when, uh, yeah, when we're getting that flow and the crowd's going and everyone's going, everyone's happy, smiling, jumping up and down. Everyone's ready to shoot. I mean, it's a lot of fun. So. I think, I mean, they got hot, of course. I, I don't know if they shot, but probably 60s in the second half. Um, I think a lot of it was like the ball screen stuff with them getting downhill and being able to dish and uh, do other things like that. So it's just something we got to work on more and, you know, just keep going at it. That's all we can do. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it feels good and you get to go home, see your family. It's very, very needed. Uh, family's everything, obviously. So being able to have that break, season is almost broken over two seasons, like you said. Once that break's coming over, then it starts MIAA play um, or two times a week, stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, it's good to have that break, but you don't want to go back and just relax and not do anything because, well, those, they can't play a lot. And, it's going to be tough when you get back. Yeah, it's like he said, we get those five, six days off, and you can't go home and take five and six days off. you got to go into the gym, weight room, stuff like that, and keep working. I mean, these games, they're tough to play. You know, a game right before, uh, you know, finals are done. Everybody's gone. Everybody's off campus. And, um, you know, we're playing an NAI team that came in. And there's two NAI teams in this league that uh, one got a, got a win at an MIAA school, and the other took them into double overtime. This was all in the last two days, in the last, in the last 48 hours. So, um, you know, it's kind of a trap game, but there's there's no excuse. We have a 23 point lead, and and we don't uh, we don't maintain and we don't continue to stay focused and work through it. So there were certainly some bright spots. I thought Malik couldn't have played a better game. I mean, 15 points, 11 assists. He was perfect from the field, three for three from it, and two for two behind the arc, and seven for eight at the line. Like, I mean, that's an incredible night. Plus 23 for him when he was on the game from an efficiency standpoint. So a uh, very good night for him. You know, we 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 certainly like that, and, and we just we just again, it's a consistency issue with this team. And um, if they don't want to be consistent, we won't consistently win. So uh, we'll, we'll do our best to try to figure it out with them. We'll care. We'll work at it. Uh, but ultimately, we have six seniors on this team, and they've been around for a long time. Uh, um, in fact, two of them already have degrees, and they're, they're working on their master's. So um, they're either going to get it and have some leadership and, and push this team forward, or they're not. And, uh, um, and then, and then you, you almost start, from, start, start anew the next year as you graduate a bulk of the, the scoring and, and a bulk of the minutes. But uh, um, you know, we just need to keep, keep battling, and, uh, and we'll keep working with them. We'll keep battling away. I thought in the first half there was great basketball rotation. I mean, we moved that thing around. I mean, we could run about any set that we had and, and, and get action either in the paint or score around the rim or, or ultimately collapse that defense to, to kick it out for a shot. So it was nice to see the ball go through the hoop quite a bit and, uh, and see that, uh, that uh, you know, uh, us banging shots from behind the arc. On, on the downside, we got to the line as one of the, the, the teams that gets to the line almost the most in the country, we got to the line zero times in the first half. So we didn't have uh, a presence in the paint like we would like to have. And uh, um, it's something, again, just from a balance on offense, we, we need to continue to be more, you know, more, more, we, we need to maximize our identity more and not just live and die from behind the arc. But it is pretty nice when it's going in. I mean, that's the third straight game in the second half. We've given up over 60. So maybe we're just going to have to have to go zone in the second half from now. We'll, we'll, we'll see. So uh, yeah, we, we got to figure something out. I mean, we, we're struggling with the consistency man to man. We're, we're, we just, we're not very efficient at it. Uh, but if you come to a practice, you'll see a team that also is very inefficient on the defense. And we can score the heck out of it. We can score in so many different ways, um, which, which is of great value to us. But if we want to win big games, you got to play defense. We got to play for 40 minutes. We're just not doing that. So uh, again, we could be, we could be sitting here right now and uh, and uh, and be eight and two right now but unfortunately we don't play defense consistently and that's why we're sitting at uh, what, six and six and four where, wherever we're at right now. And Duncan Fort did a good job tonight finishing around the basket uh, there's no excuse he plays 23 minutes and has zero rebounds he knows that, and he got his opportunity in the lineup because of how well he rebounds in practice and uh, we, we really like him he's a great kid but it bothers him that he didn't get any rebounds you know and, and we'll go back to the film oftentimes he's securing box outs uh, which is good too uh, we'll see if there's a, a ball pursuing opportunities for him but we like him uh, he needs to continue to work. I mean, that, that spot is, is wide open right now, and uh, there's going to be a lot of guys uh, competing. We'll see who has a good Christmas break here and comes back, but uh, he'll certainly.
ultimately, you know, he's in the plans for us, and, and ultimately the guys will battle away for, for those minutes. But he had, he had a good night finishing around the rim tonight, and, uh, and, and we hope he has another, you know, a, a great seven days off and, and comes back ready to go.